Hi guys, it's Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodcraft. Okay, continuing with the Haversack series, now we're going to talk about the cover element. What am I carrying as a cover in my Haversack? In my environment, down here near the Gulf Coast of the United States at the Alabama-Georgia-Florida border, my biggest concern during the summer is rain, heavy, inclement weather where it's nice and beautiful and sunny and then something rolls up off the gulf and you've got a deluge. So I need rain gear. I needed a, a quick tarp, a quick something I can throw up as a shelter. I also carry a hammock. So I want something I can put over the hammock as a shade, as a rain deflector, etc. Now, in most of my videos here recently, I've been carrying one of those U.S. Marine Corps tarps, two-sided tarps, but in my haversack, I'm carrying something else. I'm carrying a poncho, a U.S. Army poncho. And why I'm doing that is the versatility of it for what it gives me in this kit. So, one U.S. Army poncho. Now what I carry with it is I've got the poncho itself and I've got it cinched up with a bright piece of cordage like we talked about so I can see it. Inside of it, I have four of those titanium stakes with cords already attached. That way I can stick them down and hook. And then I've got one U.S. Army issue poncho. Now, the advantages that this gives me is one... It's my rain gear. So if I need to just cover me up and keep going, it is my rain gear. So I just put it on, it covers my pack, it covers everything. Two, it is itself a form of shelter. And like we talked about, a need for shelter. Here it's warm enough at night, the lows will probably be in the 70s. I don't have to have necessarily, you know, a big something. If all I do is make myself a big debris pile of pine straw or something to sit up against a tree and I put this on as a cover to flip out around me, I keep the dew, the dampness, any light rain off of me and this in itself becomes like a tent to wear on me. If I want a bigger shelter, I can of course set this up. Now give me just a second and I'm gonna set it up in a couple of configurations to show you how I like to use this. Okay. Stay with me. My favorite shelter to do with any kind of tarp for quick and easy, a plow point or a diamond shelter as I like to call it. Simply took a piece of paracord and hooked a line directly from the tarp, from the poncho to the tree, and then pulled out the corners and then the center of the hood, I pulled it up tight and went to a convenient limb. Down here are these big oaks that droop, perfectly set up for it. Now I have easily got a shelter big enough for me to sleep in, no problem. I've got a shelter I can build a fire right here to throw heat in here if it's winter inclement. This will sheet rain off of me very well and very efficiently, so I've got a quick shelter that I can stretch out in and that I'm waterproof and out of the inclement weather. I can also, like I've done this, sit it up with one side's a little more and one side's a little up. This gives me a great big wide open place right here to build a fire. Just about a step out. A small fire, but a fire I can cook off of or whatever. Throw heat and light into my camp. Quick and easy. Okay, here's a side view where it's hooked to the tree. The stake's going down. And how the hood has been tied closed and a line run up to a convenient limb that's just drooping off the tree I'm tied to. That's creating the shelter, no problems. Quick and easy. Now, there are additional stake points along the bottom that I could pull it out and stake it even more if I wanted to. Or if I've got inclement weather coming from this way, I would pile up pine straw along this edge or whatever to keep wind or rain from blowing under that edge. Here's a view from the back. Notice how it would be very easy to stealth camp with this that way. I could easily blend in to a woodland environment if I added a little thick brush around it or if I went into the brush and did it directly from here. Okay, so the poncho gives me a lot of advantages. 
a lot of shelter options. One, it is a poncho. Keeps the rain off of me and my gear when I'm hiking. Two, as an improvised quick and dirty shelter of kicking up someplace to sit, putting the poncho on and pulling it out away from me and having a secure sleeping location. Three, setting it up as a actual tent like this as an awning or lean-to. Four, it can act as strictly a sunshade, a windbreak, a whatever, setting it up as a flat tarp. Five, putting it over my hammock in a diamond point configuration. It can be the covering of my hammock to get me up off the ground and out of the elements and out of the ants and etc. It itself can also be turned into a hammock by binding the ends diagonally. It becomes an improvised hammock. It can also be used as a poncho raft. I can take brush, wrap it around my pack or brush or whatever, and form a flotation device that I can cross rivers, streams, lakes with where I'm not sure I can swim it or I want to get my gear across. It's a ground cloth. It's a multitasking piece of material that doesn't weigh a lot, is very rugged and durable, and doesn't cost a lot. This on the surplus market was $15. You can get them for $5 if you find them in yard sales. As long as they're in good order, you're okay. Now if it's got a couple little pinholes here or there, don't sweat it. Just put a little bitty square of duct tape up there and press it real good and it'll be fine. So, for what's in my haversack, my cover element is a U.S. Army poncho because it gives me so many options and such a small piece of gear. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.